Today we got one goal, taking the Rockies from irrelevancy into a championship. Now in the intro, it's definitely sounding easier than it's actually gonna be. If we take a look at this team right now, we got Daniel Bard, 37 years old, 87 overall. The guy is not gonna be good. Coach is gonna have this dude at 75 overall by the end of this year, I swear to God. After that, CJ Crone, one of my favorite guys to actually get in franchise, but the problem is the guy also is very old as well in this game. The guy's got about two good years left after that. The game is going to absolutely destroy him. And then from there, we got a couple question marks. We got Brennan Rogers. Hopefully this guy can work it out. Has had two very promising years out here in Colorado. So I really hope he can continue this. Ryan McMahon, the exact same thing. I just need this guy to hit for a little bit more average or at least just get on base just a tiny bit more. Chris Bryant, I'm so excited for this because he's finally going to be healthy for us this year. Again, knock on wood, but I really do think it's going to be fine. Then we get to the guys that really aren't looking all that great besides Herman. Got Charlie Blackman. No, got Randall Gritchick. I mean, could be solid, but if I had to guess, not really going to be the best for this game. Herman Marquez, last year struggled like crazy so i need this guy to actually come back a little bit in this game i feel like he will and then from there we need so much freaking help oh my gosh really the only good thing that i am excited about is zach veen this student course is going to be electric him and drew romo if romo can figure this thing out as well oh my gosh we're going to be set but let's be honest we really can't wait that long there's a lot of red right here that we got to fix and i think for the rockies it's actually going to start in the draft so let's go ahead and get there and let's hope that we can get some great guys here we go 2023 draft let's go ahead and get into it i'm gonna do my absolute best to get ourselves some absolutely fire guys for the future. This year, I really focused on catching and I really focused on pitchers. I really hope that we can find some gems because I feel like we actually got some really good guys here. We got pick number nine in the first round. Top 10 ain't bad at all. Let's find ourselves our beast. All right, let's go. I'm looking at Pablo. My guy's a little bit of a risk because again, he could be 49 overall, which I severely hope that's not the case. But right now at our spot, he does look pretty solid. I'm guessing he's going to be like around 83 potential, which isn't great. Let's be honest. There are definitely some better guys like Tom Ring or Jay, but our scouts weren't actually able to fully get their progress on them. So I really don't know. The only other guy that I'm really thinking about is Robinson Cortez, just because those walks per night are going to be crazy. And in this game, that really means the most. So honestly, Robinson, let's go. The potential of 99 walks per nine is got to be the reason why I got him. Like the guy legit might not ever give up a walk. It's actually so dumb. Either way, next, we got three guys here who could be absolute dogs. We got Carson Williams, we got Will, and we also got Robert Sexton. My guy Will right here also looks incredibly good, but has terrible walks per nine. Robert, though, does look like an insane beast. Potential of 86 to 99. Again, if he actually gets that 64 overall, the guy's gonna be crazy. So honestly, Robert, we're gonna take our chance. Let's go for it. After that, oh my God, Will is still out here. I really don't want to, but I feel like I kind of have to. In round two, pick 73. Our number 29th guy still out here. I mean, it could be a bait, but come on. If it is, congratulations. You got me. I gotta take the dude. I gotta see how it goes. Greg Hansen, if he is a 69 potential, I'm gonna be so freaking sad. Going out and getting him. Next up, there is nobody left. Wow. I think now it's about time we take some shots in the dark. Let's go. I got to go Randall. I got that could be a decent hitter and a very, very good fielder. Let's hope for it. I mean, at 100, you're rarely going to hit, so we might as well just take a guess. I mean, let's be honest. At pick 113, I'm not swinging for the fences because I really don't think we could find anybody crazy. But honestly, never know. With our last pick, though, real quick, I got to go with somebody that has at least a little bit of good potential. I'm looking for a guy that could be a high overall right here. I'm going Chase. We got to do it. If we hit this and this guy could be a 72 overall, all at 18, I'm gonna freak out. There's no shot that's actually true, but let's see. I will show you guys all the draft picks once we actually get there. Besides that, we got an entire team we gotta fix. We're 36 to 55 in the NL West. We are nowhere near the top. And with the entire division only getting better, we are getting left behind. So we definitely gotta fix it. Let's see what the heck we can do. The biggest thing I'm gonna do, ironically, is I'm actually gonna sell high on CJ Crone. It really isn't something that I want to do, but all three of these guys are gonna be giving us $35 million, basically. It's a no-brainer, especially for someone like Nate Lowe, who is going to kill it out here. CJ Crone, Daniel Bard, and Charlie Blackman. I hate to get rid of Chuck Nasty, but let's be honest. His days in Colorado are behind him. I might as well go ahead and transition into the future. There we go. Now we got a lot of extra money to work with, which I really love. And I can go ahead and bring up Zach Veen, which I wasn't planning on doing, but I'm happy to do it now. After that, the only thing I'm really looking to do this year is adding one more pitcher. Let's be honest. Besides that, I'm kind of doing all right. Ironically, and I never do this, but I'm willing just to suck this year. If it means that we can build this money back up and get some good prospects in the meantime, Time, I might as well go for it. Also, what the heck is this? Mike Moustakis, 34 years old, 57 overall, 15 million a year. In real life, we're not really paying for him. The Reds are paying for this dude. But in this game, I am paying for him. So I gotta get rid of him too. Let's go and get a pitch real quick. And then I gotta get rid of Moose. My guy's actually gonna bankrupt us out here. 15 million for nothing. I'm pretty sure the guy's in double A too. Oh my God, he is. Okay, yeah, get out of here. The next show we're doing, Antonio Michael.
Michael and Austin Goldberg. Again, Antonio is going to be so freaking expensive. And honestly, in this game, he's just not good. I mean, even last year, the guy was terrible. So yeah, get out of here. And then Austin Goldberg, the guy that we got for Nolan Arenado. I don't even want to think about that. He's doing good, but let's be honest, he's not a good fit up here. So I'm getting rid of him. Jeffrey Springs, welcome, baby. He is going to be much better. Let's hope for the absolute best. Besides that, there's nothing else I could do because I really don't want to give up any other prospects. All the second basemen besides Brandon Rogers are deep potential. Basically, all the first basemen that are worth anything are deep potential. Like, there really is nobody good here. So I might as well just go ahead and take the L this year and go next. The good news, though, with us actually making it past the treaded line, I could take a look at these draft picks. Please tell me we got something good. I mean, Cortez doesn't really speak to me as somebody crazy, but let's see. And 84 potential. God dang it. Still, though, not a bad little haul right here. 84, 93, 89. Craig, I wish you could have been in the 80s. Randall, 77. Still not terrible, but Ernest Bruno, 96. Honestly, could have been a lot worse. And let's be real, probably the best draft out of all these other teams. The only other one in contention right now is the Orioles, and they don't even have a single A potential. Also, where's that one guy, that Marvin dude? Where's he at? And oh, gosh, bro. I am so incredibly happy that we didn't take him. This guy was rated so highly. I mean, it was a pretty easy bait from this game, but 70 potential. My goodness. All right, let's move on. We did end up getting the best draft out of everybody. It wasn't the best, but I'll take it. Yikes, bro. 65 and 97. This Colorado owner better be ashamed of that. We did worse than the Reds and the Pirates. For real, I'm disgusted. Like, what the heck is this? The only bright spot this entire year was Nate Lowe. Nate Lowe, Chris Bryant did terrible. Let's be real. That average, not good. For cores, like, come on. Ryan McMahon, not terrible, but yeah, there was a lot of problems. And I don't even want to get into the rotation. The only good guy was Jeffrey Springs. Everybody else, holy, oh my gosh. It's time to fix it. Let's go. I willingly took the L just for this as the Rays beat the Dodgers. All right, this game's tweaking. The first thing we did in the offseason, we fired absolutely everybody. We completely cleaned house. We're going to be hiring the best of the best now. After that, everybody here, honestly, can go. I mean, Brent Suter wasn't terrible, but I might as well just try to get him for 2.2. If he doesn't sign, I don't care. Like, I literally couldn't care less. Let's see what we can actually do right here in the free agency. All right, it really won't be much. Shohei, not going to be it. Julio, not going to be it. Like, there's a lot of guys that aren't going to fit this team as of right now. But someone like Ahmed Rosario does fit this team, and I think very well. We need some help in the outfield. He can provide that if needed. He's a great shortstop, which, God, do we need one of those. So, Ahmed, I think we found you a home, baby. For only 10.2 mil a year, by the way. That was Antonio's salary, by the way. And for a guy that hit 46 doubles this year, it's worth it. So, let's go ahead and get that done. Next up, we do got two guys out in right field, Teoscar and Hunter Renfro. Let's be real. I like Zach Veen. I'm gonna let him just kind of go. I really don't want to mess with him, so let's hope that he can do good. After that, Jack Flaherty's looking very nice. Someone that could provide us a little bit of stability out there. Thank goodness. Let's hope that we can get him. Another guy that could be good. Just one year of Noah Syndergaard. The guy's definitely gonna make the rotation, so we might as well try it. And then after that, there's really nobody else that I love. Like, now for me in this game is trash. Jordan Montgomery, not that great, depending on the years. So I think I'm gonna be okay this year. Also, real quick, getting one year of Tom Murphy because Elias Diaz was absolutely terrible this year. And anybody's better than Elias as of right now, so it works out as dude i hate this so much i hate when we reach that threshold where we can't sign any more free agents because now i gotta go back and actually sign everybody else that i want it's so annoying either way let's get it going unless we already got everybody that we want hold on a minute we got a med we got Noah Syndergaard. we got tom murphy got ronaldo got matt guys i think we're okay actually the only guy that we're gonna be missing is gonna be jack flaherty okay we could easily fix that flaherty go ahead and join up besides that we are good to go baby back to 2024 we are 20th in rank honestly a lot better than i thought adding a med rosario zach Veen finally being up here. Nate Lowe, Chris Bryant. I need a better year out of you. But besides all that, we definitely got a better team this year. I'll be 100% honest. I really don't know how well we're going to do, but the foundation is starting to get there, which is all that I could really ask for. Back to the draft. We got the second overall pick right now. Could be insane if we actually get this done correctly. Let's see what the heck we could do. There are a lot of closing pitchers again, which is so annoying. Really, the only guy that ranks highly is Jorge Espinosa. And oh my God, this guy's a serial killer. Look at those eyes. Gorgeous. We got to get him. Just the eyes alone is going to freak out the hitters. So, Jorge, welcome to the squad. Please don't kill me. You know what? I'm going to do it. Just to be annoying. Floyd Cox. What a name. The dude's not ranked by the MLB. He's our first overall guy, though, for us. Has the potential to be a 99 and a 72 overall. I am so mad that I'm doing it, but there we go. Does that make you happy, coach? I finally drafted a stupid bullpen piece. Are you happy now? Can you stop giving me these guys? Besides that, let's be real. We're done with the rest of the draft. Right now, though, we're doing so incredibly well. I can't believe 
believe it. 48 and 41, which to be honest, puts us in third place in the NOS. Let's be real. We are doing way better than we should, but Ahmed Rosario is a love in Colorado. Zach Veen, by the way, doing incredibly well. Nate Lowe, again, doing incredibly well. We did make some common sense adjustments, and I'm liking what's happening here. Really, the only guys that are doing bad are the Rockies that we had to keep because this is still their team. But a majority of the guys that we changed out are doing extremely well, and they're helping this team win some games that they really should not be winning, especially if we weren't taking this thing over. So I'm very happy with that. Let's go ahead and continue this thing. Let's go ahead and keep building this team up and possibly make it a wild card push, which would be disgusting in year two. Here we go. Tread a line. Let's get it going. The first guy seeing the board, Trevor Steffen from the Guardians. In real life, the dude is one of their best bullpen pieces, and their bullpen is so incredibly stacked. If I could take two of their guys, I got to steal them. Let's just hope I can, because holy crap, if I'm able to pull this off. And oh my gosh, we're able to do it. Let's go. Tom Murphy, it's been fun. But honestly, I want to get Drew Romo up here. The dude is doing extremely well down there in AAA. I'm kind of down to just get rid of him. The guy was only on a one-year deal. It kind of works out. Now we got two incredibly good guys to go along with Ronaldo and Matt Whistler. Now the only other thing I want to do, Kyle Freeland, get out of here, my boy. $12 million for absolutely nothing right now. Dude is a solid four ERA pitcher. I get that the old GM, the old owner, all those type of dudes, they're very excited for that kind of stuff. Me? Heck no, dude. That is bum level crap for me. So, uh-uh, I'm not doing it. These Rockies fans deserve so much better than what they're getting. There's a new lefty, Kyle Freeland and Tyler going over there for Eric Lauer. Even though he's not doing great, he's still got a 5.3, but honestly, I will take him over Kyle Freeland. After that, Herman Marquez, you are letting me down so much. Much. I still believe in him though. I believe he can make his way back to that 2018 version, which is so long ago, but I want him back. I really do. The next guy that we're going to go ahead and go for, Benny Montgomery is not ready just yet. So we're going to go out there in center field, try to find somebody decent. The only problem is in this game, center field is struggling for some depth. There's legit nobody here that really does that great. It seems like every single center fielder is always like a 230 type of hitter and it doesn't really make much sense. And if they're not a 230 type of hitter, they are way too expensive. So it really doesn't make sense to try to get these dudes. I mean, hey, Brennan Marsh would not be bad at all. Ironically, my dude is barely playing too. Must have come off of some injury or something. But I think we got to try to get him. So hold on a minute. And that right there is going to be good enough. Brennan Marsh, come on over here. Let's hope that he could be very, very good out here in cores. He could be the type of guy that just comes out here and absolutely goes crazy. I really hope he is because he's got that potential. Let's see how the heck we do. I do want to make one more trade. And then after that, we should be good. Connor and Ryan, let's hope that we can actually go out and get a guy that could be just a 3.7 ERA type of guy. That is a lot to ask for, but I feel like in this game, we could find it. And if we can find it, we got a decent potential to run this thing all the way to the wild card. And hey, wait a minute, Gavin Williams. No shot. No way I can get this guy. 24 years old, 73 overall. Again, not the best overall wise, but the dude's doing exceptionally well. 3.7 for only 50 innings of work in the AL West, which isn't that terrible. I will take it. A young dude that's ready to fire. Let's run it, baby. Let's see how we do. Also, of course, we got to check it real quick. Oh my gosh. Jorge, you had one job, dude. Just get to that A potential and he couldn't do it. Still, though, not bad. Let's be real. Floyd, a 94. I hate everything. He's going to be in the bullpen next year, though, so whatever. I don't really care. Besides that, not bad, but still not good. Let's go ahead, get straight to the end of the year, and let's hope that we can squeak out this wild card spot. To end off the year, oh my gosh, we did it. No freaking way, dude. What a miracle run we actually just went on. Facing the Phillies in the first round. The Rockies ran this thing in year two, all the way to the wild card. And there we go. Batting title, Nate Lowe. What a surprise. You get this guy. Holy crap, O'Neal Cruz. 58 home runs. All right, sorry. You get this guy in Coors Field, magical things are going to happen. Let's go. Nate, only 145 games, by the way. That is crazy. That's probably why I won the title, to be honest. Either way, let's get it. Ahmed Rosario as the leadoff guy, 104 RBIs. Zach Veen, there we go, baby. Again, Nate Lowe, Brandon Marsh. Oh my God. Dude had a crazy resurgence this year. Let's get it going. Come on, Phillies. Let's run this thing as Zach Wheeler is the Cy Young. All right, Clarity, I'm sorry, but this is why I pay you 11 million. Go kill him. And actually, super close. Wow. Eric Lauer up next. I really don't feel feel like we should go lefty lefty on this but whatever game coach you do what you gotta do eric lauer ranger suarez Oh my God, 14 to eight. Jeffrey Springs, Talon Walker. There we go. Onto the Braves now. Let's keep it going. Gavin Williams, the guy was in AAA at the start of this year. Now he's starting game one versus Max Fried versus the Braves. And he wanted to. Oh my gosh. Herman Marquez versus Spencer Strider. Jesus. Herman, this is your time right here, dude. Come back or not. Still uh, actually gave it up. God dang it. Flaherty, I need you again versus Kyle Wright. Yikes. All right. Eric Lauer versus Max Fried. There we go. 2 2. Jeffrey Springs. Come Come on, baby. Oh my gosh. Colorado. I'm going to pass out. Let's go, boys. Versus the Dodgers now. Let's take down these NOS behemoths right here. These fat kings. Jack Flaherty, Walker Bueller. Oh, God. Okay. Eric Lauer versus Tony Goslin. All right. Oh, two. Gavin Williams. Come on, baby. Come on. There we go.
we go. Herman versus Gavin Stone. There we go. 2-2. Two, two. Jack Flaherty versus Walker Buehler. Oh my God. Eric Lauer, bring it home. Bring it home. Bring it home. Bring it home. Yes. You can't make this stuff up. Versus the Mariners or the Astros, please. There we go. We're in the World Series year two with the Colorado Rockies. That's what we do around here. If you guys have not already, hit that sub button, leave a like on the video, and comment down below. Come on. Also, only big baseball guys can click the link down in the description. Go check that out now. World Series, Jack Flaherty versus George Kirby. Let's go, my boy. Lost that again. Come on, Noah Syndergaard. I need you to do a little bit better than that. The only thing I'm worried about is a lot of these rookies. Drew Romo, Zach Veen. I need them to just perform like they normally would. Don't worry about it being the World Freaking Series. Eric Lauer, Luis Castillo, lost that one. Oh, 05. All right, Jeffrey, I need you to come back here, baby, versus Logan Gilbert. There we go. Gavin Williams, come on, dude. Lost that by one. Oh, my God. Noah, no. You're only with us for one year. Don't you dare ruin this run. Herman Marquez, we need a miracle. Come on, Herman. Oh, my God, we did it. Jack Flaherty, come on, baby. No. Jack Flaherty lost the last, what, three games for us? The dude lost versus the Braves, versus the Dodgers, and now versus the Mariners, and we end up losing that World Series. Dude, we had that entire thing right in front of us, but Noah Syndergaard gave up two games when we need him the most in the World Series. That is so sad. Hey, let's just go next and let's run this thing back. The only guys we're going for this year, Pablo Lopez, AJ Minter, Eric Lauer. Those three dudes should help us tremendously. We already got AJ Minter and we got Pablo. Let's go, baby. There's one more thing I wanted to do though as well. I forgot about it. Miles is still out here and he's still a good pitcher. One year, 10 million. Let's see if he could actually help us on our postseason push. Now, let's go ahead and get back to 2025 and run this thing back to the World Series. This year coming in should be a lot different, and it is first in rank, second in contact, 12th in power. Again, they stay doubting us. First in pitching. What a glow up for the guys out in cores, by the way. Also, I'm so freaking proud of Gavin Williams. This dude has turned into a stud out here. Here we go, Treader Line. What do we got? No, freaking no. Yankees, get out of here. All right, right now at the Treader Line, we have a gigantic dude that's on the block. This man, Brian Reynolds, is out here. The Pirates do want to get rid of him. He is going to be so incredibly expensive. But if we could swing this, this is going to be worth it. Yo, no shot. I don't think we're going to be able to do it. They really want that much for him. I mean, it makes sense, but Jesus. All right. Well, well, then my plan ends up being a little different now. The, the plan that I have in my mind, I want a better DH because Nolan Jones, he's not bad, but he's not really helping us as that is one of the worst jersey swaps i've ever seen but my boy isn't bad but he is not the dh that i'm hoping for if i'm being real i'd rather go out and get a better corner outfielder and just move chris bryant to the dh spot i just don't exactly know who the heck we're gonna be able to get because right now a lot of these dudes are super super expensive cool let's hope i can pull a miracle and find somebody great hey i didn't think it was gonna be this fast oscar gonzalez my boy get over here yo i'm sorry that we're just getting everybody from the guardians it seems like but those dudes are selling to us one and two they're all good so yeah i guess that's that's going to work out incredibly well for us. All right, now Chris Bryant, who's doing exceptionally well, by the way, is back the H and where he belongs because that fielding ain't really it. Oscar isn't really that much better, but he is just a little bit. So that should help us quite a bit. Let's hope that we can do great in the second half and let's run this thing right back to the World Series. Back again at that 92 and 70, take on the Phillies in the Wild Card Series again. We do have no awards this time around, so that definitely hurts just a little bit. But overall, again, the guys did great. Let's hope that we can have another great year in the postseason. Jack Flaherty versus Zach Wheeler started off a a little bit rough. Jeffrey Springs, though, versus Andrew Painter. Okay. All right, dude. I guess we don't have any more magic. What happened? It all got dried up last year. Also, as I'm looking at everybody from the last year, Herman just did absolutely horrible. We cannot have this guy back in his team. With what we're trying to do, it's not going to work out. So unfortunately, I think it's time to move on. And if we can, I'd rather use his money for someone like a Cal Quantrill or maybe someone like a Logan Webb. These guys, let's be honest, would seem way better. Honestly, I'll just go with whoever's the best and the cheapest. And it seems like Dylan Cease. The dude is no money compared to what he could do. So thank you. I will get this guy. Let's hope that he'll come over here, but I think he will. After that, catching JT Romuto is right here. We could try to go one year just to absolutely run this thing in the postseason. It would be a very good investment too, because then Drew Romo can sit behind him, learn a little bit from one of the best catchers in baseball, if not the best catcher. I think that could be good. And we prime away from the Phillies, the guys that just beat us. I like it. The lineups this year are looking absolutely disgusting. I gotta be real. The only thing that I'm a little bit concerned of is Ryan McMahon, but honestly, I do want to keep the guy. I want to win a world series with some of the Rockies players still being here. I mean, Zach Veen turned into a beast. Chris Bryant is very, very good. Brendan Rodgers is amazing. Ryan McMahon. I mean, I'm happy to keep this team somewhat what it was. The pitch is completely different because let's be honest, that pitching was garbage from the get-go. But I am happy to see us doing good. Let's hope that we can continue to do good. And I need us to run this thing straight to the World Series. We got to be champions. All right, let's go. This team is something special. 112 and 50 and we take on the winner of the wildcard series. Still not getting an award though because 
Oh man. All right. Okay, we're just getting lucky with that. But still, also, hold on a minute. Did I just see that right? Rookie of the year. There's no way. Oh my gosh, they're so bad. A 71 overall that's not even in the MLB anymore. Won the rookie of the year. Are you kidding me? All right. Let's just get the postseason. What do we got here? Cincinnati. Hello. Dylan Cease versus Hunter Green. Won that one 1-0. One -oh. oh my gosh. All right. Jack Flaherty, Julio. On that 2-0, -well, and then Gavin Williams, Shane Bieber, 07, freaking 07, dude. The Springs versus Nick Lodolo, there we go. That's better. It's a lot better, actually. First, the Cardinals now. Dylan Seas versus Dustin May. That would have been a great game as we lose that. Gavin Williams up again versus Blake Snell. Won that 7-2. Thank goodness. Jack Flaherty versus old team and Shohei Otani. And now we lose to Shohei Otani, of course. Every single time that I have Shohei Otani, we can't win. Every single time that anybody else has Shohei Otani, he does good. That's on coach right there. Thank you for that, baby. Jeffrey Springs, please. Oh my gosh, by two. Matt Whistler, come on, dude. Dylan Cease, Bobby Miller. There we go. Gavin Williams, I need you more than ever. And we lose again. Yo, Matt Whistler's declined his contract option and wants to become a free agent. Dude, you literally gave up a game against the Cardinals. Go for it. I do not want you back, bro. Consider yourself gone, my boy. We need some help in the big game. So I'm going two years of Patrick Sandoval. That WBC game that he started for Team Mexico. Oh my God. The dude's got the clutch gene. I just hope he could bring it with him. And now to replace Matt Whistler, we're honestly going to go Brian Abreu because they're the same amount of money so there we are now we should be good actually no we're not good chris bryant is 35 years old my boy is going to fall off a cliff this year and he's 26 million dollars so we kind of need to move on we're gonna go ahead and send him to probably the i don't want to send him to like a good team that's the problem let's go with the royals even though it's a garbage package let's go with the royals there we go now i am bringing over one of the best my boy randy rosarena baby get this man immediately in colorado let's get it going here we go again 112 and 50. Something's gotta go this time. We gotta do better than the last couple of times. Patrick Sandoval, Cy Young. We got four awards right now. Nate Lowe with the Hank Aaron Award. Beautiful. Nate Lowe with the MVP. And Brandon Marsh with the batting title. There we go. Finally. We're finally seeing a little bit of good stuff from these boys. All right. Who are we facing now? Miami. Let's go. Patrick Sandoval versus Edward Cabrera. All right. Next. Gavin Williams, Sandy Alcantara. Oh my God. We won that one finally. Now versus the stupid Cardinals. Please make a pass. Patrick Sandoval. Shohei Otani. Oh my God. <laughs> okay, Gavin Williams. Jesus, Jack Flaherty. Oh my God, Patrick. Oh my God. What more do I need to do to get past the stupid Cardinals? I didn't know I was going up against the baseball gods over here. Oh my God, they are the baseball gods. Fernando, Shohei, Juan Soto. Dude, the Cardinals keep coming back. The Rockies already gave you Arenado. Get out of our lives, please. I hate to say it, but the only way to beat these guys is going to be spending some money. And to be honest, where I want to spend it is pitching again because we need it, apparently. Big body Alec Manoa. Let's get him over here, please. I really don't like the money that we're spending, but we kind of have to. Also, Nolan Arenado is out here. I'm bringing this dude back one more time, and we're going to run this thing straight to the World Series, hopefully with him. It was the dumbest idea in Rockies history to get rid of him from the start. Now, is going to be back with us and we got to take down these Cardinals. We finally did it. We beat the LB record. Now, can we win the World Series, please? Awards Gavin Williams for the Cy Young. Oh my gosh. Also, Nate Lowe for the Hank Aaron Award, bro. I don't know what it is about this game, but I know how to pick these freaking pitchers. I know how to get them, which is extremely nice for us. Now, can we have them perform in the postseason? That'd be the next part of the magic trick. Alec Manoa, Nate Pearson in the freaking Phillies. Let's go. Won that 4-1. to one. Gavin, won that 3-2. to two. Dylan Cease, lost that. Alec Manoa lost that. Gavin Williams lost that. Dude, I'm going to go nuts. And the Cardinals three-peat and beat the Rays again. This year, there are a lot of bullpen pieces that we got to get. There's about three that we need to fill, and I know just the guys for it. Now, we also need a third baseman because Nolan is officially... Well, I wouldn't say officially, but he's done. He's 37 and an 82 overall. I'm going with my boy De La Cruz back from the Reds video. We still got the money. We just need to win. Back again, 108 and 54. Bro, it is 2029 and we're still out here. We've had great seasons every year too, which is the annoying part. I am still fully ready though for this year. Come on, baby. Versus the Padres. Let's get it going. Gavin Williams versus Jesus Lozardo. Lost that by six. Oh my God. Alec Manoa versus Eric Lauer. Oh, bro. Eric Lauer's back and we beat him. Thank goodness 
is Dylan Seas versus Tariq won that as well. Then Gavin Williams versus Jose Suarez lost that again. Last game, game five, Alec Manoa, Jesus Lazardo won that three to one. Thank goodness. Flaherty in his first game versus Daniel Espino and the Braves won that. Dylan Seas versus Logan Webb lost that by three. Okay, not the best. Gavin Williams again, Kyle Wright, thank you. Alec Manoa, Cole Phillips won that as well. Then Jack Flaherty, Daniel. Oh my gosh, we did it. Now facing the Rays. Of course we are. Can we please beat the crap out of them? Gavin Williams, Shane McClanahan. Won that 6-0. Alec Manoa, Kyle Harrison. Lost that by one. Not the best. Dylan Cease versus Todd Glass now. Lost that by one as well. Jack Flaherty versus Shane McClanahan. Lost that by one as well. Contreras versus Luis Gill. Won that. Finally. 2-3. Gavin Williams versus Kyle Harrison. And we lost it by one again, <laughs> dude. Finish off 113-49. I don't care. We keep it moving. Come on. What do we got to do? Marlins. Let's go. Alec Manoa, Trevor Rogers. Won that 3-1. Gavin Williams, Tom Ring. Freaking Tom Ring has made his appearance now. Lost that by one. Brother, this is insane. Jack Flaherty, Mackenzie Gore. There we go. Dylan Cease, Perez. Oh my God. Floyd, come on. Oh, two. Alec Manoa, Sandy Alcantara. Please, dude. Oh my God. 7-0. Back to the dumb Cardinals. Grace Rodriguez. How are we going to do against them? Won that. Oh my God. Jack Flaherty, who's still killing it. What the heck? Versus Dustin May. Come on. Oh my God. By two. Alec Manoa, Bobby Miller. Oh, there we go. Dylan Cease, Shohei Otani. Finally won that one too. And then Gavin versus Grace Rodriguez. Lost that again. Jack Flaherty versus Dustin May. There we go. Another World Series appearance. Let's go. Alec Manoa, George Kirby. Lost that by three. Gavin Williams, Brady Singer. Won that. Finally one to one. Jack Flaherty. Oh my God. Alec Manoa again. There we are. Two, two. Dylan Cease, please. Lost by by one gavin williams versus brady there we go game seven i'm going in we're player locking in zach veen and we're going straight into this thing look at our offense look at their offense it is tied to game seven sometimes this game makes zero sense coach i need you to be with me here also jack flaherty i need you to be with me here too please god have a great game zach veen let's go ahead and get you your first ring as that slider fell off the freaking table that's fine though we still got a lot of opportunities out here come on baby B as J-Rod just torched a ball. Not great. Down one nothing. Come on. With Zach Veen back up, I'm looking to tie this thing. With Jose Urquidy, my boy can really just pitch around me, which is not great. I need my boy to give me some strikes as it's 3-0. Do I just green light this thing and try to hit it to Mars? I think I do. And that is going to be okay, but we're still not going to be able to get it. Right now, bottom of the sixth, it's five to two. How is this team beating us? That's a single up the middle. Hopefully we can start something for the rest of this team. You guys remember what those averages were looking like for the Mariners, right? I don't understand how this team is beating us as we are in there. We're in there. Oh my God, that was way too close. No outs. We're on second. Cruz, please. De La Cruz. Oh my God, that is sent out there. Am I going to actually tag this? Am I going to tag it? No, I'm not going to tag it. I would have been gunned. Down 0-2 to Ahmed Rosario, and he pops it up. Or is that going to actually travel? No, it's not. Of course it's not. Left field, and they catch it. Like, seriously, what is going on with our team? Why can't we catch a break in this World Series? Here we go. Bottom of the eighth. One guy on. One run. Already scored. It's time to get something good. It's time that we change the history. Please, that's something nice. That's a golf swing straight out there. That's going to be off the wall. That's at least a stand-up double. Please let the other guys hit me in. Let this be the start of something big. Brandon Marsh, full count. Come on, dude. Don't let Forrest Green get the better of you, please. And that's a walk. That's fine. Ahmed Rosario, you are two for three with a lefty. This is your dream scenario right here. Please make it count. And he popped it up. <laughs> Nate Lowe, you are my only freaking hope. 0-2, oh, two, two outs, two guys on. Please, Nate. Please, Nate. Please. No! What more do I have to do? Jack Flaherty did pitch an okay game. Had 11 strikeouts. Our entire team failed every time. I'm going to one more year. I cannot take this insanity, dude. That's our third or fourth World Series that we've lost. I don't know what else we have to do. For almost a decade, we have won over 100 games. Game, I just need you to show me a little bit of respect, all right? Don't be so shameless. How we doing? Cardinals, let's go first. Alec Manoa. Lost that by eight. Gavin Williams. 
There we go. Andrew Painter, the new guy that we got to replace a lot of the older guys like Jack Flaherty and those type of dudes. Andrew Painter, come on. How are you going to do in your debut in the postseason? Won that one. Beautiful job. Alec Manoa lost that. And then Contreras versus Grace Rodriguez won that finally. We have the Pirates up now. Gavin Williams, Ian Anderson won that. Manoa Flaherty, thank God. Andrew Painter, Woody. Okay. Contreras Marshall, there. Oh my God, 18. Can we please do that again? Alec Manoa, there we are. Back to the World Series versus the Tigers now. Alec Manoa. Casey Mize won that 10 to 1. Gavin Williams, Jackson Job lost that by two. Andrew Painter versus Vaughn lost that as well. Manoa again. Casey Mize lost that by one. Contreras versus Jackson Job. Dude, I've never been this close to breaking everything in this room. <laughs> That's it. That's actually it. Uh, this game is so shameless with that.